okay. Hopefully I didn't wait too long for that. <laughs> I usually wait like a certain amount of time before I'm like, hey, I think I waited too long, but that's okay. Um, all right. I have once again convinced myself that I'm doing reactions. And it's funny because I love doing reactions, but my nerves always convince me otherwise. Although last week I was watching the Super Bowl. I'm not usually a, a Super Bowl fan, but I mean, not super football fan, but I, I do sit down and watch the, fo the football. Gosh, I can't talk today. The Super Bowl just because it's amazing. Anyway, so I've got a couple songs picked out for today. Totally opposite of, well, although I've heard metal and classical music are the most alike. Uh, yeah. So anyway, I have heard of this first band. I've heard of Pantera. I remember when I first started hearing about Pantera back way back in the early 90s. Um, and I've actually kind of been putting it off because it is so close to the 80s and I, 80s metal, like as much as I try, most of it, I just, it's just not my style. I don't like it. Um, and I'm like, I don't, I don't want to get a whole bunch of Pantera people like hating on me because I don't like it. Um, but I was like, you know what? We'll give it a try. If it's anything like that SpongeBob episode, SpongeBob episode, yeah, then it might be good. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I I looked up and it said basically their biggest hit was called Five Minutes Alone. Um, and I was kind of I wasn't sure about the lyrics, but and this is Wikipedia. <laughs> So if it's wrong, you can tell me it's wrong. But he says the story, the drummer says the story behind the song is that they were opening for Megadeth, see? And this is another thing that makes me nervous because Megadeth, the the couple songs I've heard, I, like they weren't bad, but I just, I didn't know. They weren't my style. I didn't like, I didn't like them as much as, like I didn't hate them, but I was like, nah, I would never listen to that. So it kind of makes me nervous once again. It says there was a, a guy that was flipping us off the whole show, and I'm assuming like he was just waiting to get eye contact and was like doing this meme because a lot of metal shows that I see, people are flipping each other off left and right, the singers are flipping people off, There's, you know, and it's like a, a funny thing. Um, so I'm assuming this was not a funny thing. Um, and let's see. They're just flipping us off the whole show, so we stopped the show. And I was like, listen, in case you haven't noticed, there's 18,000 people who really dig what we're doing. You're the only one doing that stupid, yeah, without even having to egg the crowd on. And I guess that prompted 10 guys to jump, this guy that was flipping them off, and they beat the crap out of them. Um, and the dad called the manager after all the lawsuits um, and stuff, and said, give me five minutes with that Phil, how do you say his name, Anselmo guy? Just wanna kick his butt, you know? Um, so the vocalist, Phil Anselmo, spoke about what the song is saying, said there are always gold diggers out there. I'm like, oh, so was he doing that? Was he doing that just to be a-hole, or was he hoping to cause something? Um, the way I remember it, that there was a kid that swore that I jumped off the stage and beat him up, but it wasn't true. Um, and the father asked for five minutes alone with me. The manager responded, no, you don't. I really doubt that. I'm, I'm going to doubt it, too. I, don't, I haven't seen him yet, but <laughs> he basically hung up. Once the story was conveyed to him, it made him angry because it wasn't true. So he took the words from that guy's mouth and wrote this song, Five Minutes Alone. Like, bring it on. Which is hilarious that I'm like, oh, 
Can you imagine the butt hurtery from <laughs> that guy knowing that your words made one of their most popular songs? Oh, that's got to be epic. <laughs> I absolutely love it. That's a kind of like a passive aggressive thing that I would do. That'd be awesome. So then the lyrics totally make more sense. Um, oh, like this, you cry for compensation probably from all the lawsuits, and he's like, just give me five minutes alone. Like, yeah, you want five minutes alone with me? <laughs> I'll give you five minutes alone with me. Yeah. But I, I, this is just hilarious to me. Um, all right. Ugh, I'm so nervous. Like, I don't want to well, not like it. I don't want to be like me, but... We'll see. If, if it's not my favorite, <laughs> don't, don't kill me. It's, it's just an opinion. I, I can't like everything. Oh, good so far. Okay, this is okay so far. I 100% love this. <laughs> it's just, it's a groove, it slaps, just then the guitars, just, oh, I love that sound. And then his voice, I'm like, it's so different. It's like, from a lot of it, he's like only like half growling. It's like he's using his, his um, real voice, but just putting the grit in there, you know? if that makes any sense. And then like that one part there, and I was like, I wonder if he actually growls. And then he actually did kind of do more of a, of a growl before he went back to this, but I'm like, why do I have goosebumps? <laughs> Pantera gives you goosebumps. Okay. Okay, keep going. You wait so war of nerves, but you can't cross the kingdom. Looks like a Metallica hair. <laughs> I'm curious, I did notice that line in the lyrics about talking about the, the color of the skin. Um, sorry, I gotta see what it said exactly, but I was wondering, I'm like, okay, what was the skin color of the kid that was flipping him off? Um, and like, cause, I don't know, this guy looks white. Use the complexion of my skin for a counter racist tool. So um, I was I wasn't quite sure what that meant. But if you do know, let me know. Wow. 
go on to this next awesome part I'm like like I can hear I'm like is are these guys kind of like the transition between 80s metal and like metal afterwards because I can hear like his voice reminds me more of an 80s voice um not enough that I'm like no I don't like it but like I like it <laughs> but then um, and you can kind of hear kind of more of an old, older sound to it, but then it's still, but it sounds new, well, new to me anyway, it sounds newer. And like some of this, the, the stuff he does with his voice, it sounds like something that I, I don't know, something that I haven't heard from older metal, but maybe that's just me. So I'm like, it's just enough of a mix of the old and the new that it's like intriguing. Like, I really love it. And this song is just like, I really like this song. <laughs> already? Fine. <sighs> okay. I don't know if it's because I went into it so nervous and trying not to expect too much or what, but I mean seriously, first five seconds of that song and I was like, okay, we're going somewhere. And then as it continued, it was like, okay, you got me. You got me. This, this song, <laughs> I like this song. I do. Um, the good, there was only like one thing I could, I could critique, but it's so small that everything else just pushes it out of the way and makes this song amazing. Okay. First time ever hearing Pantera that I know of anyway. <laughs> so I'm like, Sweet. That was so good. If all their music is like that, then I think we're going to have a beautiful relationship. <laughs> um, okay, so 
Um, I think I said everything I needed to in the video. I was going to say this is going to be kind of a long one just because the video itself is like, what, yeah, almost six minutes long. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, I forgot to do this. Skip the lyric thing. Oh, well, well, it'll probably pop up there anyway. Okay, so that's all I got for this one. Uh, I am going to record one more, but I don't know if I'm going to post it today. I'm waiting for a response from somebody. Um, but I'm going to record it, so, so if everything goes through, then we'll have two videos today. Otherwise, it'll just be this one for now. But it was a good one, so... Um, that was Pantera, five minutes alone. Um, so comment and like and subscribe. Um, come find me on social media. Uh, I got a PO box and that's all I got for now. So I guess I'll see everybody next time.